Prime Minister Narendra Modi's maiden visit to Bangladesh saw the two nations taking their ties to a higher level. Settling a 41-year-old issue, India and Bangladesh paved the way for operationalizing the historic land boundary agreement. This will allow the demarcation of a complex boundary and exchange of enclaves by both countries. Prime Minister Modi said his visit has come at a crucial time and expressed hope that the agreement will help make the borders more secure. The visit is at a historic moment. We have resolved a question that has lingered since independence. Our two nations have a settled boundary. It will make our borders more secure and people's life are more stable. On the first day of his visit, Prime Minister Modi held extensive talks with his Bangladeshi counterpart, Sheikh Hasina. The two sides then inked 22 pacts, including one to increase connectivity and another to boost bilateral trade. Both the sides signed agreements on Dhaka Shilongo Hati and Kolkata Dhaka Agartala bus services, coastal shipping and inland water transit and trade, renewal of bilateral trade agreement and blue economy and maritime cooperation in the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean. Indian ships will now be able to use Chittagong and Mongla ports as an MOU has been signed in this regard. This will help in the movement of Indian goods. An MOU on Indian Economic Zone has also been inked under which Bangladesh will offer SEZs to Indian companies in Mongla and Bhera Mara, a unique one-of-its-kind agreement. Bangladesh has also opened up its insurance sector, allowing LIC to start operations in the country. India also agreed to extend a credit line of 2 billion US dollars to Bangladesh, which is expected to benefit both nations. Another important takeaway of Prime Minister Modi's Bangladesh visit is in the field of security and counter-terrorism. Bangladesh has pledged zero tolerance to extremism. The two sides also inked pacts on prevention of human trafficking, smuggling and circulation of fake currency notes, which will help boost security cooperation. Prime Minister Modi also met Bangladesh President Abdul Hamid and the two leaders exchanged views on several issues of bilateral and regional significance. Bangladesh also conferred its prestigious Liberation War honour on former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee for his active role in support of its independence struggle and consolidating friendship with India. President Abdul Hamid handed over the Bangladesh Liberation War honour to Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a glittering ceremony at Bongo Bhavan, the President's house. The ceremony was also attended by Premier Sheikh Hasina. Receiving the award, Prime Minister Modi described himself as one of the crores of people who wanted the vision of Bangladesh's liberation to be realized. Bangladesh ke jang ke samay, mukti jodhaon ke saath, Bharat ke sainye ne, jo apna rakt bahaya tha, aur har Bharatiya nagri, is samay, एक प्रकार से बांग्लादेश के सपनों को साकार करने के लिए जूझता था उस समय अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी का जो नेतृत्व मिला उनका मार्गदर्शन मिला विपक्ष में रहते हुए देश की राजनीति को दिशा देने का जो उन्होंने निरंतर प्रयास किया उसका आज गौरवपूर्ण स्मरण हो रहा है वाइल रिसीविंग द स्पेशल बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर अवार्ड कन्फर्ड एन अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी Prime Minister Narendra Modi said for the first time that he himself participated in a satyagraha demanding Bangladesh's liberation as a young political activist. Bangladesh President Abdul Hamid praised the contribution of Atal Bihari Vajpayee as Foreign Minister and Prime Minister for strengthening Indo-Bangladesh relations. He said that Bangladesh has decided to honor all the Indian soldiers who gave their supreme sacrifice during the liberation war. We also must not forget Sri Vajpayee's role as the External Affairs Minister and later as the Prime Minister of India in strengthening our bilateral relations. On this one occasion, with great pleasure, I would like to announce that we have decided to honor each Indian soldier who had made supreme sacrifice in our war of liberation in 1971. The PM also inaugurated the new Indian High Commission Chancery Complex at Bharidhara, where he also launched six projects undertaken with grant and aid from India. India places Bangladesh as an important country in its Act East policy. Also, it terms Dhaka as the most important neighbour. 
Prime Minister Modi's visit to the country is the testimony of India's determination to take the bilateral ties of the two nations to a new peak. With Sudhakar Das, Shailendra Mishra and Snehashish Sur, Bureau Report, DD News.